Welcome to another whiteboard series video. Uh, today we're going to be talking about a somewhat complicated subject matter, uh, but my goal is to break it down very simplistic and not go too far in the weeds. We're going to be talking about the inverted yield curve. Uh, if you're reading anything in finance following the markets, you probably have heard about this lately. Uh, but basically the inverted yield curve is sh showing short-term interest rates being longer than long-term interest rates. Uh, a normal yield curve is the opposite. Your short-term interest rates are lower, long-term interest rates are higher, and that makes sense if you just think about it. Logically, you would expect lower interest rates in shorter time periods versus longer uh, time periods having higher. Why does the yield curve flip? Well, it's you know, having to do with what interest rates are doing. Why are we concerned about it is more of the big question. And of the last nine recessions since 1955, an inverted yield curve has preceded the recession. So it's being used kind of as a predictive indicator. We've talked about this before. No one really knows what's going to happen in the markets, but we also use evidence to kind of support our beliefs. And nine times in a row of seeing an inverted yield curve within six to 24 months, so call it somewhere around a year, we've experienced a recession. In the future, very shortly we're going to do another whiteboard series talking about recessions and whether or not every recession is the one that we have most recent in our mind of 2008. So I'm not talking about the inverted yield curve to create some panic, but I think you're going to hear about it and I want you to understand what it is. So we're going to do some editing today, we're going to draw it, but before I go to the drawing board and kind of show you the difference between two, just a real quick summary again. An inverted yield curve is when you have your short term interest rates. People are usually using treasuries, but you can think of CDs, any, any type of interest rates that it makes sense. Short-term interest rates are higher than your longer-term interest rates. And the reason that this is believed to be a negative sign is it's showing that investors have less confidence in the short-term economy, meaning they want higher interest rates to lock their money up in the short-term, and they're willing to accept lower rates for the longer-term because they have less concerns over the long period. So does this become a self-fulfilling prophecy? Maybe, maybe not. Uh, but nonetheless, the sh an inverted yield curve shows investors are concerned about the short term, which means they're ex requiring higher interest rates to tie their money up for short periods of time, and then the longer term interest rates fall down lower, giving us an inverted yield curve. So let's go to the board, take a look at it, um, and then I'll come back with some closing notes and we'll get you on your way. Okay, for the visual learners out there, here's your yield curve drawing, and we're going to put the two different types of curves on there. Uh, you have your yield on the y-axis, maturity on the x, so as you go up the y, the interest rates are going higher. Uh, the yield is going higher as you go out the x, maturity is, is going to be longer. So a normal yield curve looks a bit like this. So your short-term rates low, long-term rates higher. What we have on the inverted yield curve, which is what we're talking about today, is more of an illustration that looks like this. So you have your shorter term maturities with higher yields and your longer term uh, maturities with lower yields. So this is just the visualization of what I just described um, as far as what people are looking at with the yield curve, normal versus inverted. Well, I hope that that drawing between the two yield curves, the normal and the inverted, makes sense. Hopefully it illustrated more about what the differences are and now you have a better idea. But again, just in closing, I don't think you need to be concerned quite yet. Uh, the spreads between long-term and short-term might be closing, but then interest rates are kind of bouncing around. So we don't have an inverted yield curve yet. Just know what it is. Short-term rates higher than long-term rates and why we're concerned about it. The last nine times we've seen this, we've had a recession in the next six to 24 months. So no predictions here, not suggesting you make any changes. Just wanted you to know what the inverted yield curve is because I know you're going to read about it and hear about it uh, as time goes on and interest rates continue to move. So hopefully that makes sense. Looking forward to the next whiteboard video. We're going to talk about recessions so we can piggyback on this and hopefully remind you that not every recession is like 2008. Uh, we'll see you in the next episode.